The amount off order discount is a really easy way to let your customers get a discount off of their total order. To create a total order discount, click into discounts on the left hand side and then near the top right corner, hit create discount. For this video, we're gonna go over the amount off order discount, and this is to discount the total order amount. So in here, you have the option if you want a discount code or if you want an automatic discount. So a discount code is something that the customer would have to enter at checkout unless you send them a specific link that automatically adds it or the automatic discount is always just automatically added to everyone's cart at checkout. So for this order discount is applying to your total order amount. So we have a couple options where you can do percentage off or fixed amount off. So for the first one, we'll just put 25% uh, off order over 100. So let's say you wanna make your customers spend 100 and they'll get 25% off. So value will get 25% off and you can have no requirement. So you could just say $3 off every order or something or $5 off an order. Some of those can be very helpful if you're really trying to get those first sales where you're allowing people to shop and pay very little money and get an order with it to kind of test out your site. But in this case, I'm just gonna show you if you do wanna have a requirement for them to get the discount. So you could have a requirement for a certain purchase amount, which I'm gonna do in this case of $100. And it applies to all products. So it's not any select collections. This will be for everything on your website. And then your requirement, you could also do a minimum quantity of items. So if I selected that, you could say they must purchase 15 items. For this one, I'm just gonna stick with that $100. Customer eligibility, it could be all customers, specific customer segments or specific customers. I'm just gonna leave it as all customers. Maximum discount uses. So you could have it where it can only be used a limited number of times in total. So let's say you only want it to be able to use in a hundred transactions. You can also limit it to one use per customer. You could have both of those apply. I'm just gonna deselect them in this case. And then you can choose to let it combine with other discounts. I'm gonna go over this in another video just because it can be a lot and it can be confusing. I don't want all these individual discount videos to be very long because of this one section. And then here you can have the start date and the end date. Let's say you wanted something to only go one specific day. You would start at the beginning of the day and you would end it at the end of the day. And when you have the end date, it automatically will go inactive after that end date has passed. So I'm gonna hit save on this one and we're gonna test it out. So 25% off of an order with a minimum purchase of $100. And this is a discount code, so we will have to enter it at checkout unless we share the shareable link. If we shared this shareable link somewhere and someone clicked it, then the discount would automatically be entered in at checkout for them. If you don't see this pop up, there'll be a promote button up here. I do see that I accidentally left that end date on, so it says it expired. I'm going to unselect the end date. And now we will see that promote button pop up. So here you would hit get the shareable link, and this is the link you could share to make it automatically applied at checkout for those customers that click that link. Okay, now to test this one. So I've gone in my cart and I'm in the checkout portion of my website and we have spent over a hundred. So the discount we have created is you'll get 25% off if you spend over a hundred. So apply it. And down here, the discount is showing for the order discount, 25% off order over 100, and 25% of the $137.92 is $34.48. So this one worked just as we would expect it. I'm going to close this one out, and then I'm going to show you an automatic discount. So if we go back, we create a discount. We're doing this amount off order. If we hit automatic discount, this is one that will just automatically apply to everyone's carts. In this one, we will put buy five items get ten dollars off order so in this case we're going to just make it a set amount so a fixed amount of ten dollars off an order here if you have a physical location this is what this availability is where it could apply to your physical location we're not going to worry about that in this example and we come down here to the purchase requirements we have buy five items so we're going to put minimum quantity of items so they must at least get five and I'm gonna choose not to combine it with anything. We're not gonna have a start date or an end date. So I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna refresh my cart, my checkout screen. So we have the subtotal it is automatically applied. So buy five items, get $10 off order. And since there are at least five items in the cart that are being checked out with, it's giving us the $10 off. And that is pretty much it for the order discounts. The order discounts are probably one of the easier ones to set up.